Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Shooter and in today's video, I wanna cover magnification on rifle scopes and why I actually prefer a four to 16 over a six to 24. I'm gonna give you guys five reasons why I like the four to 16 over the six to 24. Now, as you can see in the back here, this is my 6-24 Arkin SH4 Gen 2, and up front we have the Arkin SH4 Gen 2 in a 4-16. Now, both these scopes are great value. Uh, I believe this one runs around 450, and this guy runs around 400 bucks currently. You'll have to check their pricing online. But what's really cool about these, they have a 34 millimeter tube, which means that you get more adjustment for your elevation for long shots, as well as it has a zero stop, and they're both first focal plane. So really awesome little optics here, great value for your money. You're really not gonna find that feature set on a different optic for a better price. So Arkin is coming out swinging. Now, unfortunately, that does mean that they are in high demand and occasionally they do get into back orders. So be sure to check online for their availability. And I also have an affiliate link. If you guys click through there or you use code WDS at checkout, you will get free shipping on your optics on the Arkin website. The two rifles that these are sitting on right here are Uinta Precision Rifles. In the front, I have my UPR-15 Complete Rifle. This one is in Vortex Shadow Brown, I believe is what the color is on there. It has been Duracoated by Uinta Precision. In the rear, I have the UPR-10. So that's an AR-10 pattern rifle sitting in the back, AR-15 pattern rifle sitting up front. So the biggest differences there is the rear is an AR-10 rifle and the front is an AR-15 rifle, a little bit lighter, easier to use, the AR-10 capable of shooting a larger cartridge and easier to shoot out to further distances. All right guys, let's get into my top five reasons why I like the four to 16 over the six to 24. Number one, better field of view. On the four magnification against a six magnification, you're, being, you're going to be able to see a wider swath of land as you're looking around. Now, whether you're a hunter, that is hugely beneficial to be able to see all the way down to four X magnification. You can see a large field. You're not quite as honed in further down range. It just is easier to spot things as you're moving around. For new shooters who are still looking through scopes and kind of learning how to use them, a forward magnification is going to give them a bigger field of view and is easier to spot your target while it's out there a couple hundred yards and then slowly zoom up to the full 16 magnification if that's what they want to use. So overall, I like the low end magnification. I don't find myself shooting above 16 magnification, even on my extremely far shots. I've went out recently, shot 1500 yards. I ran both scopes right around 16 to 18 power because both of them were capable of going above 16, but I would have no hesitation at all running a 16 magnification scope, even out to distances up to a mile. Completely honest, I've done it before. That's where I like and prefer my magnification. The number two reason that I really like the 4 to 16 on these scopes in particular, these are smaller and lighter. That is pretty typical for scope setups that I've seen even across other brands. Real quick, I've got a tape measure here. Let's measure out the difference in overall length between these two scopes. This one's coming in right at 14 and 1 8 inches or 36 centimeters. And then up front, the 4 to 16 is going to be shorter at 13 and a 16th in length or 33 centimeters, so a little bit lighter. And according to Arkin's specifications, it is one ounce lighter. You know what, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. I will take a lighter scope over a heavier scope any day of the week. Now the number three reason is getting a little more technical and that is the eye box or the eye shadow is more generous with a lower magnification scope, meaning it is harder for the eye, it is harder to get proper alignment with the eye box on a higher magnification scope when it's cranked up than it is with a lower magnification scope when it's cranked up. The black ring that you get in your scope when you're trying to look through it to get the full objective uh, to fill up with the image is easier to obtain on a 16 power than it is on a 24 power. That's just how these scopes work and it is easier to see the full objective with the 16X. It's a little more forgiving in the end. My number four reason, which is very important for a rifle optic, is clarity. If you're using the same glass in both scopes, which these scopes use the same glass, if you're not zooming in as much on the glass within the scope, because you are zooming into the lenses, uh, you will actually start to see a clarity difference once you really start to magnify looking at that glass. So what that means is a brighter, better image on a lower magnification scope. If you guys have ever noticed, if you lay down behind a rifle, point it at a white wall and take your magnification ring and zoom it in 
looking through the optic, the optic gets darker as you zoom in. Higher end optics don't do it as bad, but they still do it. And between these two scopes, since they use the same glass, you are going to get what looks like a brighter, clearer image on the lower magnification versus the six to 24. So that's a huge reason why I really like not zooming in as far, especially when I'm shooting out far and trying to see what I'm doing downrange. And then my number five reason on these scopes in particular, and I already mentioned it near the beginning, is that these are actually a more affordable, cheaper price point. So this one comes in, I think it comes in right around 50 bucks less than the six to 24. So be sure to check their website to verify that information. Um, I recently just got this, so I haven't shot it yet. So I'm not really gonna talk about the performance of this guy just yet. I will make another video where I go out and check it. But the price point between the two, this one's going to be less expensive. And those are the five reasons why I think the four to 16 is better than a six to 24. Obviously I have both, so I can run them side by side. But there's a reason that I put the 4 to 16 on my AR-15, a little bit smaller, lighter weight, just like the AR-15 platform itself. 6 to 24, a little bit heavier, larger, just like the AR-10. And I'm probably going to be reaching out farther with the AR-10 anyway. So in the weird case that I would want to crank up the magnification, I'm probably going to want that on my 6 Creedmoor instead of my 6 ARC sitting up front here. Well guys, that's my list. Definitely let me know if you think there are reasons you would rather have a six to 24 over a four to 16 down in the comments. Personally, I like the four to 16, like the compact size, all those features I just talked about and why I like that in particular. Thanks to you into Precision, those rifles are super badass. Be sure to check those guys out. Again, I have an affiliate link down below for Arkin Optics. They may have a back order, but like I explained, these scopes are really awesome and the demand is just high on them. That's why they're back ordered. So. I greatly appreciate your guys' time. Please drop a comment down below and we will see you guys in the next one.